Boo. What's up, guys? October. This is horror movie number two review. And, uh, yeah, it's a doozy. It's 1985's Italian horror, Demons. From, uh, Lombardo Bava. His name sounds familiar. Or if you follow Italian horror, his dad was a big shot director back then. Directed a lot of it, gothic Italian horror. Or just gothic horror in general. Mario Baba. So anyway, um, this one is, I believe, produced, <clears throat> excuse me, produced, and uh, the screenplay is from, you know, the great Dario Argento. So uh, it also has a character in there that's played by future uh, Italian horror director uh, Michael Sove. So yeah, it's full of Italians and others. But uh, one of the first Italian horrors I've seen, you know, growing up, and uh, I enjoy the heck out of it. So the premise, um, all right, so these two girls on vacation, and um, sorry, my voice is cracking, I don't know why. Um, so they're, all, they're on vacation in like Berlin, Germany, somewhere in Germany, and uh, they come across this strange, uh, weirdo dude, played by M Michael Sove future director. I think he's I think he's billed as the man in black. He has like this metal, you know, warrior demon looking mask on. I don't know. They're creeped out by him, but he hands out them like two free uh movie tickets for this, you know, premiere they're having at some theater in Germany. And, you know, they figure, okay, why not? So they all show up. Yeah, you know, he must have been like doing this all day, this guy. And uh so everyone's in line, getting ready to go into this theater to see this horror movie for free. Because, you know, the guy handed out tickets. One of the um, uh, patrons, some, uh, you know, eccentric lady, uh, 80s style, wicked hair, all that stuff. She, like, messes with one of the movie props. Like, it's like a metal face of, like, a demon. And she gets, like, you know, pricked by it. So uh, that's interesting. And uh, that's kind of like the, you know, the start. So as the movie's going on, you know, who's not paying attention, who's fooling around, and uh, it's crazy. So as the movie um, goes on and on, the lady who got, you know, the little pinprick, she goes to the um, bathroom to, like, excuse herself. It's like, she's, like, sweating. It's like she has, like, the flu or something. And she starts changing. And this is, like, her, you know, this is the 80s. So we're talking about, like, practical effects. You know, everything you see is done in camera or, you know, makeup Italian style. So... If you know anything about Italian horror in the 80s, 70s, whenever, it's uh, it's graphic stuff. It's fun. It's cheesy, but it's fun. And uh, I guess she's like, you know, patient zero in this case. She, you know, turns into a demon, pretty much, like a half-human, half-demon thing. Kind of think of like a, uh, like a zombie would turn. In fact, despite the movie called Demons, there's not really much, you know, satanic imagery, I want to say. I mean, there's a few, like, uh, quotes thrown out there, like, they'll, you know, turn our cemeteries into their cathedrals or something like that. But, you know, there's not pentagrams all over the place or, you know, Satan showing up. The, I guess the whole demon thing kind of is, you know, taken as, like, the possession part. Like, if you're bitten or scratched. Also kind of like a zombie uh, film. Uh... For all intents and purposes, it does feel like a zombie film. You know, if someone gets bitten, scratched, like I said, they turn into it. I think I made a scene like maybe like one or two um, individuals get spiritually possessed and changed in like some really crazy, gory, gory ways. So anyway, people are going nuts because they're like, oh my God, what's happening on the movie screen is happening to us right now. So there's people, I love the, the setting too. I mean, a horror movie inside a movie theater. That's awesome to me. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the soundtrack is, like, Motley Crue, 80s hair metal. It's really cool for, like, a foreign film, you know. Uh, like I said, the cast was mixed, but definitely has, uh, you know, like, Italian, that Italian 80s horror flavor all over. And I can't remember, I can't, if you could find it somewhere, streaming or download it or whatever. Um, or if you own it, good for you. But, um, um. Yeah, I can't re recommend this movie enough, especially as it gets close to Halloween. And you want to see something new out of the box, like if you're used to seeing like American horror films or whatever, try Italian horror. 
it will definitely keep you interested, I promise. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the guy, uh, the, um, uh, man in black figure that we see twice throughout the film, the ones handing out the free tickets, Michael Sove, he went on to direct movies of, of his, uh, of his own. One of them is called The Church, which is another, it's just like another, you know, evil, you know, uh, demonic, I guess, Satanist kind of film, but, you know, more so in the horror than the evil part, but. Anyway, uh, Demons, 1985, from Alberto Bava. Like I said, great, great horror film. Uh, it's fun. It's uh, gory. And, uh, oh, and the music, you know, aside from the, the metal stuff, it's uh, composed by Goblin, which you're like, who the heck is Goblin? Uh, they were like this prog rock, progressive rock band that mainly did, like, you know, horror soundtracks. They work with Dario Gento a lot. A lot of, you know, they're big on the Italian uh, horror scene and so on. And, uh, I don't know, like I said, for someone who grew up on Italian horror, it's 100%. It's awesome. Really, really think you guys should check it out. I think you'll appreciate it if you like, you know, gory horror films. Or 80 films, you know, just, you know, for that matter. It's great. The setting, everything about it is awesome. And uh, very appropriate. You know, Halloween and all. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Liberto Bava's Demons. Uh, it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's one of those films that, you know, you might catch, like, really late. You're like, what the heck am I watching? It's that kind of film. But entertaining nonetheless. So yeah, that's my review. Uh, short, but, uh, you know, right to the point. Uh, let me know, you know, what you guys think. If you've seen it, let me know your opinions. There was a sequel to this, too. You know, and uh, it was good. But, yeah, can't beat the first one. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Stay scary and stay safe out there, all right? Okay, peace.